welcome. I'm Dragon, and I just got this, a Prusa 3D printer. This is my first ever 3D printer, so let's create my first ever 3D printed model. And that will be this Dragon 3D logo. Here we go, let's get into it. To start this video, I actually just want to show you how it came in a package and then me setting it up or just showing you some images of how it came. So here was the box and then I unwrapped the black and then when I opened it there was gummy bears which I was not expecting. I'm guessing it's more of a brand thing just saying that it's from Prusa. I thought that was kind of cool. And then they had stickers which I don't really know where to put them. I guess I could put them on the 3D printer sometime. And here are all the parts laid out once I got all that done and then I set it up and this took about three-ish hours or a little bit give or take a little bit and now what you're seeing right now is just showing the self tuning it's pretty much just goes through and checks and makes sure everything is working on the printer if you have one you'll know what this is but I think this is an amazing feature because it just allows you to know that your 3D printer is working. And I actually thought it was pretty cool to even just watch a little bit because I could see the printer move for the first time because this was my first time actually seeing a 3D printer in real life moving up and down. And I thought it was very fascinating, <laughs> even though in a couple months I probably won't think so. But that's what that this is, is just checking and making sure everything wor was working, and luckily it was. And then when I loaded the filament, I gotta say if the filament was the correct color or not. And that was kind of fun too, just to see the filament get loaded in. It actually pulled it away, and I had some troubles getting the filament out but getting it in was totally fine. I don't really know if it's supposed to be tough to get out or not. I'm hoping not, uh, or hoping it is, otherwise I might have a little issue. And then this was it just pointing. Apparently it does this for every print, unless you can change a setting. I'm pretty sure I'm doing most of these things correct. They had a very helpful handbook that you could follow. I tried following it to the best that I could, but this was actually the first time it printed a little bit of filament. As you're about to see, it goes up on the bottom. You can't actually see it that well, but there's a black line coming out of the hot end, and there it is. There's the first piece of printed filament from this 3D printer. That was pretty fun to see too. But now, skipping ahead a little bit, this is my first time plugging in the OneDrive or the SD card, not quite sure which, into the 3D printer. This has my 3D model that I modeled in Blender, and it was sliced in Prusa Slicer, which was actually very easy going, and I actually thought it was kind of fun uh, do using Prusa Slicer. And then when I plugged it in, you can see that you can now see the 3D model on the 3D printer screen, which I thought was really cool. And now, what you're about to see right now is a little sped up version of it moving a little bit. It was pretty slow, but that's to be expected, I'm pretty sure. And then when it actually started printing, you could see that that first circle was not very good. The first layer of this print did not turn out good, meaning that I needed to raise the bed, which I do end up doing later but I didn't realize that was what the issue was until a couple times after. And now skipping ahead even more, this is when the print <laughs> printer tore off the 3D print from the bed, which was unfortunate, but it was a nice learning experience because that allowed me to learn that you need to actually level the bed. It also allowed me to fix the squeaking, which you can hear right now. Yeah, that was kind of a pain, and I ended up fixing it. I'm pretty sure it was rubbing against something. Probably wasn't very great for the printer, but as you can actually see right now, the 3D printed model that I was printing came off. But now I will show you the attempt that actually was a success after I grabbed this one off the printer, and then I'll skip ahead and show you the time lapse with some music on in the background. So, I'll let you see this re the rest of this. Well, enjoy the time lapse of the actual success.
And now the first ever print on this 3D printer is complete, or at least the first successful <laughs> completion, because I did have a couple errors like I mentioned earlier and showed you the one, but now here is what the model actually looks like just when it came off the printer and actually still on the printer. I thought it looked pretty cool, but now let's go to a video of me showing you what it looked like it has a 3D model. So here is that video clip. This is what it looked like. It looks exactly like a logo, pretty much. Well, not exactly because, well, pretty much. It depends on how you define a logo, but I think it looks pretty cool. It turned out how I was hoping it would, actually better than I was expecting anyway, but it actually was able to 3D print Dragon 3D on this logo, and now I have a 3D printed version of the channel's logo. I thought this was pretty cool. And as you can see right here, that, the upside down right there is the first layer of the failed 3D print. And then comparison to the one that actually was a success. And then here's me showing you the other ones that didn't work. The, I actually just, the first time, it failed, I didn't realize anything had gone wrong, so I just tried printing it again, and then that's when I realized I needed to lower the, <laughs> the bed. I thought this was a very cool learning experience, and I am very happy to say that I now own a 3D printer, a Prusa 3D printer. Hopefully, you'll see more of this in the future, in future videos, but with that, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, and bye!